Welcome back guys. Today we will be learning about laser and today our topic is Einstein's theory of laser and relation between Einstein's A and B coefficients. So this is very important so let us get started. So let us start. Let us consider N1 and N2 be atoms per unit atoms per unit volume present in lower state and lower state that is E1 and higher excited state that is E2 respectively so this is our atoms and this is our element so now atom from the ground state is is excited to E2 so in the presence of radiation so the frequent radiation frequency is suppose we take it as gamma and the excite movement of n1 atoms from ground state to and higher excited state takes place first by absorption process but the as we know that the absorption depends on the is proportional to the atoms per unit volume in the ground state and is also de dependent on the energy density of the photon or incident light energy density that is u of mu u and for u of incident light so the absorption per unit time that is we take as d t of a b will be equals to b of 1 2 times n 1 u of mu so b12 b12 is called as the einstein's coefficient of absorption of radiation from lower state to higher energy state lower to higher energy state so this is very pretty long so this was our absorption process which takes place from lower to higher now the atoms in the higher state excited state that is emits radiation so when they return to the ground state they can return in two processes as we know that it, it can occur by spontaneous emission and stimulated emission so so for now we will consider the part for spontaneous emission so as we know that spontaneous emission does not depend on the intensity of light so it will be proportional only to the unit number of atoms per unit volume present in the excited state so the emission that is now for spontaneous emission the number of so the number of atoms number of spontaneous emission per unit volume per unit time per unit time that is the rate of emission that will be given as T of SP that is for spontaneous emission A21 times N2 where A21 let me write here A21 is the Einstein's so let me get the spelling right Einstein's coefficient of spontaneous emission so the number 2 1 represents 2 from higher from second to 1 it goes from second to 1 now this now the N2 will relax in the metastable state as we know will be influenced by the steam now will under the influence of stimulating photon so the stimulated emission will occur but we know that the stimulated emission depends on the number of atoms per unit volume in the upper state as well as energy density so now for stimulated emission it will be T of ST so as we already can say that it will be B21 and 2U of mu where 
B21 will be Einstein's Einstein's coefficient of stimulated emission so now this process will go on continuing and there will be a time when thermal equilibrium will be reached and the rate of upward transition will be equal to the rate of downward transition so we can conclude that T of AB will be equal to SP plus T of ST so now we will solve it so it will be N1 B12 U of mu this will be A21 N2 plus B21 N2 U of mu so now we will express it as the energy function energy density function taking this to this side we will get N1 B12 minus N2 B21 and this will remain the same so now we will express here u this will be a21 n2 now this will be n1 b12 minus n2 b21 so now let me now let us take n2 common in the denominator so n2 we will take common it will be n2 times n1 by n2 for the first term and n2 it will be simply b21 so this 2 will get cancelled out so now this will be a2 upon n1 times n2 b12 minus b21 so now we know that n1 upon n2 from max boltzmann law is will be related as we already know the term relation I have already discussed n2 upon n1 is e to the power minus h mu by kt and here it will it will be n1 by n2 so the minus sign will so the minus sign will go out so we can write this as so our function changes to so now I am writing it here it will be so we will replace this so it will be a2 upon e to the power h mu by kt minus b b21 and here it will be a term that is b12 now we will just do more simplification now we will just take common b12 and we see that this will be 1 upon e to the power h mu kt minus this will be 1 taking b21 common oh this, this will be b12 so we have taken b12 common here in the denominator so now there is a famous law according to Pla Planck's radiation law of energy energy density is related to as something like this so from Planck's radiation law we say energy density that is u of mu will be written as 8 pi h mu cube upon c cube into e to the power h mu by kt minus 1 this is our Planck's radiation law so now we will just compare it so we will compare both the equations because we got both the equation as a function of energy density so we will compare it and let me write this in blue so here we get that this is a constant and here it is this so we can say that a21 upon b12 will be equals to 8 pi h mu cube upon c cube so this is a very important relationship between absorption coefficient and spontaneous emission coefficient 
so now this is our first relationship and from here we get that 1 will be equals to b21 upon b12 is equals to 1 and we can say that b12 equals to b21 and we can this is how the instant coefficients are related to each other so this was the main inference we saw that the spontaneous for Einstein coefficient for absorption was equal to the Einstein coefficient for stimulated emission so if you had any problem comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you